Premier Christian Radio. Genesis chapters 1, 2, and 3 is a wonderful piece of ancient writing which, like a great many things in ancient and indeed modern writing, expresses inexpressible truths in very sharp pictorial language. One of the fascinating things about Genesis 1 and 2, the story of creation, is that they're two different stories, one in Genesis 1 and one in Genesis 2, and if you take them as literal as they stand, they actually don't quite fit together. The order of doing things is different. Now, it looks as though, and I think many ancient Jews reading the texts understand this, stood this if anything better than we do, it looks as though they are like two signposts, both pointing to a third reality, which we can't see because it's inexpressible and unknowable, but they are true signposts. But as when you see a signpost by the road with a symbol for a castle or whatever it is, um, when you get there, it doesn't look exactly like the symbol. Nevertheless, the symbol is a true symbol. So these are both true ways of saying something which we don't have other good language for. And the Bible often does that, and that, that's, that's great. Jesus in his parables was doing that often enough. Now, that's not to say that, as it were, nothing happened. What it is to say is that the truth behind all these is that the world was made by a good and wise and loving God. It was made ultimately with humans not only as its focus but as the means by which it was going to be run. God wanted his human creatures to be in charge of his world on his behalf and that what then happens in Genesis 3 when it all goes horribly wrong and they do the wrong thing is not just that they're in trouble but God's purposes for the world are out of kilter. And so the whole story from there is not about, can we take this as literally true and was it six days or what was it? But it's about how has the purpose of this good God for his wonderful world got to get back on track through the work of Israel, through the work of Jesus, and then through the work of those who believe in Jesus.